kicked, strangled, kicked, all while just trying to do their jobs inside the state mental health hospitals. Five Investigates, Kathy Karn first exposed this violence back in May, and now that issue is in the spotlight again on Beacon Hill. What's the latest, Kathy? Well, Maria, nurses say they don't feel safe and something has to change. Today, they told legislators about attacks, injuries, and nurses suffering from PTSD. A strangulation that came almost close to death, a kick in the chest that resulted in back spasms, bruised ribs. They've been kicked, punched, and knocked unconscious in violent attacks inside the state's mental health hospitals. Many attacks were inside the Worcester Recovery Center, the state's premier mental health facility, where they're dealing with a population of patients with increasingly complex mental health issues. Need me in the face. Now the Massachusetts Nurses Association is testifying before the Joint Committee on Mental health backing legislation that would create specialized units to care for and stabilize patients who are extremely violent or showing signs of self-destructive behavior. It affects the other patients on the unit. It affects the patients themselves who are the perpetrators of um, such type of behaviors and it definitely affects the staff. If you talk to anybody who's up at the Worcester Recovery Center, they're going to tell you they have some very difficult to manage people. State it's Representative Patricia Haddad is sponsoring the legislation. They are a danger to themselves, they are a danger to other patients, and they're a danger to staff. According to data obtained by Five Investigates, there have been 96 assaults with injuries that required medical attention at the Worcester Recovery Center in the past three years. The Mass Nurses Association says there have been 381 assaults reported in the past year alone. DMH is seeing patients who present with very challenging behaviors, but they, and they recognize that, that they are doing that, but they haven't done anything to respond to that. And many nurses call this a safety crisis and say even though they've been promised support from DMH, they haven't received it. DMH says it will continue to make sure there's adequate capacity in the system to meet clients' needs. Kathy Carr and Five Investigates.